Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another exercise that is exercise 9.3. So before dealing with the exercise, we need to know some formulas related to that. Okay, here we need to study about the surface area of uh, cuboid, cube and cylinder. Okay, so before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here you can see two formulas regarding cuboid, two formulas regarding cube and two formulas regarding cylinder. So cuboid, they have already given that lateral surface area is equals to 2h into l plus b formula this is okay that is 2h into l plus b where h is nothing but height l means length and b is nothing but breadth of the cuboid and total surface area is equals to 2 into lb plus bh plus hl similarly lateral surface area of cube is 4l square and total surface area of cube is 6l square and curved surface area of cylinder so you know the cylinder will be not having the perfect definite shape so uh, sorry definite shape in the sense uh, it will be not having any edges it will be having the curved surface area the cylinder will be in curve so we have to write this in curved surface area is equals to 2 pi r h and total surface area of cylinder will be 2 pi r into r plus h so now let us start with the exercise that is 9.3 so first question is there are two cuboidal boxes as shown in the adjoining figure so here two, two cube, cuboidal boxes are being given uh, okay uh, which box requires the lesser amount of material to make the question is given which box among this requires less material to make so for the first box l is equals to they have already given l is equals to 60 centimeter breadth is equals to 40 and height is 50 centimeter so tsa we need to find the total surface area of the cuboid so formula we have written that is 2 into lb plus bh plus hl let us substitute 2 into l into b that is lb okay 16 into 40 plus bh that is 40 into 50 plus hl that is okay see this is not c this is actually h okay so so hl means h value is 50 50 into l is 60 50 into 60 so 6 4s are 24 and the 2 zeros have written plus 4 5s are 20 and 2 zeros written plus 5 6 are 30 and 2 zeros already written if we add all this we are going to get 7400 when it is multiplied by 2 we get 14800 centimeter square okay why we have taken centimeter square because tsa that is areas total surface area area will be always in square units okay so for the second one they have already given 50 50 and 50 length breadth and height everything is 50 centimeter so length is given 50 centimeter so we need to uh, in the formula we need only length so 6 l square is there so 6 into l square so 50 into 50 so 6 5s are 30 and the 0 into 5 okay into 50 again so 3 5s are 15 with how many zeros 3 zeros this much centimeter square so this is having 14800 and this is having 15 thousand centimeter square so cubicle box this box a requires less amount of materials to make so this will be requiring less amount of materials to prepare so let us move on to the second question so here you can see a suitcase with measures 80 centimeter 48 centimeter and 24 centimeter is to be covered with a tarpaulin cloth how many meters of tarpaulin of width 96 centimeter is required to cover 100 such suitcases so for one centimeter uh, sorry one suitcase dimensions they have given that is l is 80 centimeter b is 48 and h is 24 so we have to find out okay for how many meters of tarpaulin of width 96 centimeter they have already given us the width of the tarpaulin that is 96 centimeter is required to cover 100 such suitcase okay so for one suitcase we need to find out first so total surface area of uh, um, cuboid we have to find out let us write the formula we have substituted everything so 80 into 48 is 3840 plus 48 into 24 is 1152 plus 40 24 into 80 is nothing but 1920 so if we add this we are going to get 6912 when it is multiplied by 2 we are getting 13824 centimeter square we got okay so now width of the tarpaulin already they have given 96 centimeter okay so length into breadth is equals to we we are having this much okay so breadth value they have given it is 96 we need to find the length so 96 if we take to this side it will be divided by so after dividing all this we got the answer to be as 144 centimeter okay so once one suitcase require 144 centimeter of tarpaulin cloth so 100 such will be requiring 144 into 100 we have to multiply it by 100 so it will be 14400 centimeter of this cloth okay so let us move on to the next question 
सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी फाइंड द साइड ऑफ अ क्यूब हुज सर्फेस एरिया इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द क्यूब ऑलरेडी दे हैव गिवन द सर्फेस एरिया सो टी एस ए ऑफ क्यूब इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एल स्क्वायर फॉर्मुला इज रिटर्न टी एस ए ऑलरेडी गिवन दट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड विच इज इक्व टू सिक्स एल स्क्वायर सो इफ यू टेक दिस सिक्स टू दिस साइड इट विल बिकम एल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो सिक्स वन जिक्स सिक्स वन जिक्स एंड टू जीरो दैट इज हंड्रेड वी गॉट सो एल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सो इफ एल इज इक्वल्स टू रूट ऑफ हंड्रेड वी नो दैट रूट ऑफ हंड्रेड इज इक्वल्स टू टेन सेंटीमीटर सो वी गॉट लेंथ ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द क्यूबॉय टू बी एज टेन सेंटीमीटर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर्थ वन रुक्सार पेंटेड द आउट साइड ऑफ द कैबिनेट ऑफ मेजर वन मीटर टू इंटू टू मीटर इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर सो दिस इज वन मीटर दिस इज टू मीटर लेंथ इट इज हैविंग द हाइट ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर हाउ मच सर्फेस एरिया डिड शी कवर इफ शी पेंटेड ऑल एक्सेप्ट द बॉटम ऑफ द कैबिनेट एक्सेप्ट द बॉटम ऑफ द कैबिनेट शी एज पेंटेड ऑल द फोर साइड्स एज वेल एज द टॉप ओके सो फॉर दैट वॉट वी नीड टू डू ऑल द फोर साइड्स मीन्स फॉर वॉल्स दैट इज लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया ओके प्लस टॉप ऑफ द कैबिनेट टॉप ऑफ द कैबिनेट इज हैविंग एल इन टू बी एंड लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया फॉर्मूला इज टू इन टू बी हेच प्लस हेच एल ओके और एल्स यू कैन राइट यू कैन टेक एच कॉमन टू हेच इन टू एल प्लस बी दैट इज ऑल्सो वन एंड द सेम ओके सो टू इन टू लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट बी हेच प्लस हेच एल वी हैव सब्सटीट्यूटेड प्लस लेंथ इन टू ब्रेड वी हैव टेकन ओके दैट इज टू इन टू वन सो वन पॉइंट फाइव इन टू वन इज वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टू इज थ्री सो थ्री प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव फोर पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टू इज नाइन नाइन प्लस टू इज इलेवन मीटर स्क्वायर सो शी हैव पेंटेड इलेवन मीटर स्क्वायर ऑफ एरिया ओके सो so next fifth one you can see daniel is painting the walls and ceiling of the cuboidal hall with length breadth and height of 15 meter 10 meter and 7 meter so 15 meter is length breadth is 10 meter and height is 7 meter respectively okay from each can of paint 100 meter square of area is painted how many cans of paint will she need to paint the room okay so rooms uh, hall size they have already given meters in meters uh, length breadth and height is given we need to find out how much uh, cans of paint is been required so length is sorry length is given breadth is given and height height is given so t से ऑफ रूम इज इक्वल्स टू एल इन टू बी प्लस टू इंटू बी हेच प्लस एच एल सो वाई वी हैव टेकन दिस एल इन टू बी प्लस दिस यू कैन सी हियर ऑलरेडी देव गिवन शी इज पेंटिंग दी वॉल्स एज वेल एज सीलिंग इट मीन शी इज लिविंग द बॉटम पार्ट सो एल इन टू बी इज फिफ्टीन इंटू टेन प्लस टू इंटू इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस बी इंटू एच इज टेन इंटू सेवन प्लस H into L is seven into fifteen. So fifteen tens are one fifty plus two into ten sevens are seventy plus seven into fifteen is one not five. So one fifty plus two into seventy plus one not five is one seventy five. So one fifty plus one seventy five into two is three fifty. If you add this, you are going to get five hundred meter square. So require cans is equals to area of hall divided by area of one can. One can can paint. 100 meter square so we are having 500 meter square so if we divide this 100 ones are 100 105 za so how many cans is required five cans is required so i hope this is clear we'll deal with the next part in the next video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you